Yo, what is going on everyone? Today we are checking out another M181 mod and it is a White Western Star, one of my favorite ones to begin with, and this is a White Western Star 4964 Heavy Hauler V2. Max Mike brought this quite a while ago and made some massive improvements. We have the steel fenders, we have uh, 53 inch tires I think. The, anyways, this, it's yeah, it's it's ready to haul. So actually what I thought today we'd do for the torture test is use this high saddle trailer mod. Put the Cat 770G, because I think this is one of the only trailers you could actually fit it on. And the telehandler, and we got them both packed. By the way, with this trailer mod, you have to pack them with wheels just on the actual trailer. They can't touch the wheels, otherwise you won't be able to pack them. Uh, links for both mods are going to be in the description. But we're going to take it through the mud. And we're going to take it down all the way to, da, da, da. nope, there we go, the service site. And we got them there if we need them, and we don't have to worry about trying to transport them. And I figured it's quite the test for this. It is a heavy hauler, and it's going to go through quite the journey to get there. So make sure you smash the like button and drop a sub on the channel. Let's get into it. Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to check out the White Western Star 4964 Heavy V2 M1A1 Edition. This has received a ton of updates since it was first brought to life. One of my favorite trucks even today. So we're going to put the Westline V16 M2680 engine on. Color box HD as always. Ray suspension. What are we going to do for tires? Okay, 52, we're going to take the 52's MHS 3's, Thomas Winch HD, spare wheel, spare wheel, tall front facing snorkel, all wheel drive, so let's uh, let's put the saddle high, rear bumper steel fenders, yeah let's go with the steel fenders, front side straight cap visor, rooftop, Let's go ahead and put roof fog lights on. Front bumper. Let's go ahead and use heavy duty pipe. Chilean's cabin protector or utility mount. Utility mount brings 100 repair parts, two spare wheels, and 50 for fuel tank. Let's take the outrolled. Get this old classic skin and let's head out. Maybe we need to haul a trailer with us. I love these high saddle trailer mods. Especially the one without the bolsters. Well, let's take this trailer. And we're going to put a surprise on it to haul it through the torture test because this, this is what I call a heavy hauler. So, alrighty, time to take the emergency brake off. Sometimes I forget just how long this trailer is. And the RTX 3080 is supposed to be here this week. So I'm tracking my frames now to see how I do with the 3080 once it gets here. The one thing I'm a little nervous about is SnowRunner seems just really unoptimized to begin with. I get 100, I get 100 in some frames in some spots, and I get basically none in others. There's kind of no consistency there. So. It'll be exciting to see what we end up with. And I think SnowRunner should have introduced an actual benchmark um, method. Kind of like what you have in the Ubisoft games. Just so you know how your system can run it. I'm running on all Ultra everything. Like, everything's completely maxed out. And it runs pretty good. 100 frames is pretty decent for what this game brings. For ultra settings in my opinion. Alright, so now we're going to do our first snow test here actually. 
There we go. Let's see this truck work. I love the lighting on this truck, but as always, we're going to fast forward to the daytime. Now, the wheels fit in the fenders pretty much perfect. They barely rub. Um, one thing I might suggest, though, to Max Mike, if you're watching this, could would it be realistic to get a heavy bumper for this white Western Star like what we have in the IX Wrecker, for example? And the only reason I'm suggesting that is it seems like my front tires just aren't getting the traction that they need because all the weight in the back. And that's, yeah, I mean, that's reasonable given what we've got on this trailer. But how much could that help out this truck in these circumstances? And it is a heavy hauler. Should it have a heavier bumper to begin with? Alright, we're not too far from the mud pit now. In terms of on the road, it's actually hauling this no problem. We're in 5th gear and we're kind of edging up to 6th gear. If wasn't for the fact that we have this turn here, we probably would have hit 6th gear no problem. Alrighty. So I think we're going to go the way that we know is a little bit easier because of how heavy this trailer is and everything with it. Man, I wish we had a little extra weight in the front bumper. We'll see how we do here. Do we need to crawl? No. All right, let's try winching a little bit. Sometimes when you're kind of hung up like that, it's tough to use. Not because of the truck itself, but more so just the way that the trailer is kind of catching. Now that the trailer's mostly in the mud pit, we're doing okay. I have to winch again, but... And you know what, I, if we have to winch through this entire mud pit, that's okay. There's worse things that could happen here. Put in a little minus, and now we're actually just moving a tiny bit. That is crazy. I really think if we just had a tiny bit more weight in the front, we'd be okay. And you know what? Some bigger, better tires wouldn't hurt either, but I don't think that's all of our issue today. This is kind of what the game's all about. They didn't add the winch feature for no reason. So if you got to use it, that's perfectly fine. That doesn't make or break a mod by any means. Especially when you're hauling cargo like this. It's 
so if this tree we're winching on now doesn't fall or break before we get to it, it'd be good if we could crawl out of this. Pretty stuck right now. We gotta find something else to winch on to here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find anything. Try this tree. You can tell the front tires aren't really getting enough traction. Alright, let's just hope this is all we needed. Get out of here. This is a crazy haul. I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm very surprised that we have this attached right now and we're still hauling. I don't think, I can't think of any better torture test for this truck. Looks like we're going to pop out now that we've got the traction we needed. Let's hope we can keep it that way. The trailer's going to start to drag right about here. And we're going to slow down just a little bit. And this is a situation where I think a heavier front bumper, some bigger, better tires would help. But it all worked out. We made it out now. I don't think we can use high yet because we almost stalled out. And we're in high now. It looks like we're just digging from all this weight. We also <laughs> we might have dug ourselves in. Have this telephone pole just until we get out of the rut that we dug. There we go. Now, if this was Michigan, we'd have no problem. Because, like I said, this thing just hauls. It has nothing can stop it when it's on the main road. Not even all this weight. Now, we really got to hope we don't tip the trailer here. Because we are going through some winds and turns. To say the least. This is a spot I'm nervous about things tipping. Let's hope we can hold on just a little longer until the trailer gets straight. That's a tough part. This trailer's so long too. It's hard to kind of keep track of where you are and from the front to the back. I think this is the bend that I was most nervous about right here. 
this, this is quite the slope. But it looks like we're making it through, okay. You can see the front bounce just a little tiny bit. We're lucky it's not bouncing any more than it is. And once we hit this pavement up here, we'll be fine. An automatic. I'm actually going to put an automatic now, although we do slip that little bit. That's alright. Did we almost lose the cargo? Yep, we almost did, but not ah, still there. Alright. This road is a little smoother now, so hopefully. Hopefully we'll be alright. And the, the tires that are on this trailer are a decent size, but another thing I love about every M181 mod is the fuel consumption is pretty realistic. We're sitting here at 30 liters a minute in second, third gear. Um, although it's got a 450 liter tank, we're, we're burning up pretty quick. We really are. So, the days of mods letting you skip the fuel station are, I would say, pretty well over. And here we go, onto the road, the actual road. Although it's all ice, we're still gonna spin a little bit and slide. That's all right. Now we can hammer down in a fourth, fifth gear. Here comes fifth, we hit six. We're gonna hit sixth gear, we're edging up there. But because of the ice, it is really different to try to break here, so. And the turning's a little different with this, as you can tell, because the front tires, you can see it when I back up and when I go forward, the front tires just don't have the traction they need. Like here, you can hardly turn. It's not because the truck's hitting it, because it's not, because there's just not enough weight in the front in this situation. I think, anyway, someone's going to have to correct me in case I'm wrong, but obviously all that torque doesn't help, but part of that, again, comes down to the lack of weight in the front bumper so that's going to conclude our mod review honestly doesn't matter what map you're in if you have a heavy haul to do the white western star has to be your go-to the link is in the description guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for checking it out